Hey everyone, we're here today in the Best Value Vax Oven Quality Control Center. We're going to go over a quick unboxing of a 0.9 cubic foot eco oven. You start off here by just opening this crate. Standard number two Phillips bit will do. All right, now that our oven's opened up, we can go ahead and remove some of this packing material. Right here we have our oven quick start guide, along with a quality control sheet. We take off this protective cover. Now I'll take this oven out of the crate and we can start getting it up and going. So the first thing you'll notice is every oven we send out is going to be shipped under a vacuum. See on this gauge right here. To release that vacuum, you can do one of two things. You can open up your back release port on the side. Or you can use your vacuum pump valve and release vacuum from the rear of the oven. You can now you can open your handle and the door might be a little bit stuck. You can get that out by either prying away or just flicking the end of the gasket over here with your thumb. It'll open right up. This is our 0.9 Eco, comes standard with four shelves. We also have the 1.9 that comes with five standard. And go ahead and remove your shelves all together. Shelves are saran wrapped and tied together for your shipping safety. And then uh, we're also going to remove the protective cover just from the face of the oven. First thing I'm going to do is plug it in, make sure it works. See your power cord comes in the back of your container. Unwrap it. See when I hit this power switch. Oven PID will power up. Now let's turn on the lights to see inside your oven. Right now our temperature is at 92 degrees inside. Our set value is 100 so the oven will start to heat immediately. To adjust these values you can use this screen here. Your SP will be your set point. You can change it up or down. Your desired temperature. You can also set a timer feature. Your timer feature is set in minutes. So if you were to set it for two hours, it'd be 120 minutes. After 120 minutes at temperature, the oven would turn itself off and power off until it's at room temperature. If it's at zero, that means the timer is disabled. So we'll keep it like that for now. And we're letting our oven heat up. Now we can start um, hitting our shelves in the oven. The shelves do come with this blue protective coating. You're going to want to take that off before using them. See right here, they just pull off nice and easy. You'll get a nice shiny surface underneath. Do that for both sides. So this oven shelf is ready to go. And open it right up. Slide it on your shelf brackets with your material loaded up and it's ready to go. Now we recommend that you let your oven get to temperature before putting any material in it and then letting it saturate for up to two hours to make sure your heat is evenly distributed throughout the whole oven. While my oven's heating up, I'm going to start pulling back from this port right here. 
can pull off the little tubing that comes to protect the flare. And then right on top of the oven here, you can see this HVAC hose. I'm going to unwrap this and hook it up to our vacuum pump, which is sold separately. Flare is going to go right on to the oven. The other side of our hose will go to our vacuum pump with a quarter jig flare right here. Now right when I turn this on, I'm going to want to make sure that my valve is open down here. Our vacuum pump valve is on, so that's good. I want to make sure on the side here that our port is closed, which it is. And I'll turn on my vacuum pump and you'll see the level of vacuum on the gauge. lowest possible vacuum level you can get. So I'm going to let this go for just a few minutes before using the oven. And also we're going to let it heat up and then we'll be ready to start purging our material.